Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, in the southern Ukrainian city of Odessa, violence assumed horrifying dimensions this past weekend. All day Friday, bloody conflicts flared up between supporters of and those opposed to the government in Kiev. By evening, the violence escalated to the point that those supporting autonomy tried to take refuge in a trade union building, where they were barricaded in and finally killed as the building was burned down. While the official accounts speak of about 40 deaths and 200 injured, Internet reports account for more than 100 killed. Instead of carefully clarifying what happened during this horrible incident, the government in Kiev fell back into known patterns of behavior, meaning that without having taken the time to conscientiously gather evidence, the Ministry of the Interior immediately blamed the victims themselves as being responsible for the fire. This reminds strongly of how the violence in the city of Kiev was dealt with. Also in this case, the Yanukovych government and the Barakut security police were quickly given the blame. And this in spite of an absolutely incriminating burden of proof that the opposite is true. This evidence was so overwhelming that not even major media like ARD could get around reporting in their program on April 10, 2014, the discrepancy in media coverage concerning the violence and deaths on Maidan Square in Kiev. Whether these repeated hasty conclusions by Yatsenyuk's government and in favor of his own supporters hold up under accurate examination is highly unlikely due to video evidence we have received. For this reason, we urgently appeal to the Western governments that they insist upon a sound and impartial clarification of these events. And those of you watching today, please raise your voices with us as well that such crimes no longer remain unpunished and stand up for an end to the injustice and violence in Ukraine. In the coverage by the Western media, it was obvious that not only were reports kept very short, but they failed to name horse and rider. Would this have been the case if pro-Russian separatists had caused such a massacre? In light of these events, it becomes so clear again how manipulatively the Western mass media purposely presents people with a twisted picture of who the aggressors are in Ukraine. This is dangerous warmongering in view of the growing threat of a world war and must be called exactly what it is, a crime. We urgently recommend you, valued viewers, that you no longer base your opinions on the leading mainstream media, but go on listening to counter voices. We will be broadcasting uncensored facts, bringing light to the background behind these deaths in Odessa in the following days. It's worth it to keep tuning in the next few days. Until then, goodbye.